just a 1986 XT350 from Yamaha. I do have a small little tool kit back here. It has a spot device, a little bit of a extension wire from the battery, and I will eventually get a compressor for it. I'm gonna find a back rack that'll come out back here, and this gas tank will eventually be mounted on the side here. I had recorded a second introductory video, uh, which I actually only took pictures for, um, which I said that a lot of my inspiration for this motorcycle in the beginning comes actually from Itchy Boots, which is a very good YouTube channel for video. I had also mentioned that I had gotten out of motorcycling after my kids were born, and then especially after uh, my father had um, head injury incident which caused him to be in a hospital bed for a year year and a half uh, and he did not recover from so me not wanting to have my children have to see me in that state i shied away from this sport completely the reason that i've really gotten back into it is my boys asked to start dirt biking instead of motorboating and this is the first year of those adventures I hope you'll enjoy.
Here is uh, Creston town site, and we're approaching a set of lights that Itchy Boots rolled into and turned right here uh, to head east in her adventures. Well, I've made it to Radium. May is doing really well. One of the hottest days of the year. An absolutely stunning view. This valley is one of my favorites. This is the Radium Highway between the Castle Mountain there in the distance. Just at the Great Divide. Continent. You take a lot more breaks on a motorbike. Well, I've made it to Ghost Reservoir, which is in Alberta, just a short 40 kilometers away from Calgary, Alberta, my hometown. And there's the dam. And here's some bug goats. I gotta say, I don't miss trying to get my boat out of this boat. They're backed up again. As promised, after my wonderful ride home yesterday, I got on to mounting the gas tank properly. And then I replaced the handlebars. We had a few bumps and bruises on the first week of ownership, so time to fix it up. Have a great day.